Hello, my name is James Wickard, owner and president of Dollar Store Services, Party Store Developers, Mailbox and Business Center Developers, and Five Dollar Teen Stores. Today we are going to discuss the financing options that most of our clients use to help fund their store. First off, I want to tell you that my company does not directly finance store projects. Instead, we work with a group of brokers and lenders who work directly with our clients. The job of my finance advisors is to review your financial condition and make viable funding options based on your credit profile. Once you decide what type of loan will work best for you, we then put you in direct contact with one of our brokers. We receive many deposits each month from people whose credit profile will not allow them to immediately secure financing. So our brokers offer free credit repair services. In fact, around 15% of our stores we presently open for clients uh, initially submitted the deposit, were not able to secure funding, went through credit repair, and then ultimately opened our store. So this equates to hundreds and hundreds of stores that we've opened over the years for people who were patient, went through the credit repair process, cleaned up their, their credit profile, and ultimately were able to open a store. And sometimes the credit repair process happens in as little as 30 to 45 days, like in the case of removing a single inquiry or maybe a single pass-through collection. And other times the process can be lengthy. The point is, if you have the desire to become a business owner and open one of our stores, it can and will happen. At my company, we can tell our clients within 45 hours of receiving a copy of their credit bureau in a 100% refundable deposit of just $500, what type of loan they can qualify for and the approximate amount of money that they can secure. So it's not a long process. If you're interested in knowing what you can secure presently, simply submit the deposit and get the process started. Again, within two or three days, we can tell you the type of loan and how much money you can secure. Now, let's get to financing options. I would like to introduce to you Mr. Stephen Grammer, Director of Finance for our companies. Welcome, Stephen. All right, thanks, Jim. Hi, Stephen Grammer here, Finance Manager with Discount Retail Store Services here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I just want to take a few minutes to go over some funding options that are available to you. Now, cash is not an option. It's just if you have the available means to purchase your store outright, that'd be terrific. However, if you're looking for financing options, this is what we have available. A retirement account rollover. It's a big misconception that you cannot use your 401k, IRA, 403b plan to purchase a store. That's not the case at all. We have, uh, in today's uh, market, you can use your retirement account to purchase your store outright, uh, tax-free, penalty-free. You can secure the cash typically in two to three weeks, okay? Retirement accounts must have a minimum of $50,000 to qualify. Uh, this is a great way to go using your retirement account. Also, if you're still employed, you can consider borrowing against your account through your employer, okay? Uh, usually, you can borrow up to 50% of the vested amount or $50,000, which is ever is left. However, you must check with your qualified plan administrator for the details and the timeline to complete. Not all banks offer the SBA. A bank in your local area may be able to uh, help you out with a uh, small business administration loan, uh, or we have a way to go for the small business administration loan. Uh, just so you know, the, the most common one of the small business loan is a 7AB program, which is more generally focused on helping small businesses start and grow their business. An SBA loan, typically offers a more attractive payment term of seven to 10 years and, it, and, and low interest rates with no prepayment penalty. On average, the SBA loan takes around 30 to 45 days to fund. However, the approval process is one to six months. That's the lengthy part of the SBA program, waiting around for one to six months for the qualification uh, through an SBA bank that offers the program. 
Still a great way to go if we're able to qualify you. Next is the, is the unsecured business funding, personal or business lines of credit. This type of lending does not require assets or collateral. You receive multiple bank cards that may total up to $200,000. Typically a FICO score of 650 or better qualifies you. These credit lines are open-ended. What that means is there's no end to the line and when you pay it back, you can reuse the money for your store. The, term, the approval time for this is usually 24 to 48 hours and funding usually takes about 14 to 21 days to complete. Next is the unsecured money funding program. Now, this type of loan is in the form of installment or personal lines of credit uh, with terms anywhere from 60, 72 to 84 months. Um, what makes this unique is the business does not have to qualify, no upfront fees, liquid cash, not credit cards. The money can be used for your turnkey business, down payment, working capital. This is 100% unsecured money and you're free to use it as you see fit. No need for documentation on the business you're trying to buy. Like an SBA loan, there's no risk to your home or your retirement accounts. Approvals are usually within 48 to 72 hours, and the funding process is fast and easy. Usually takes about two weeks to complete. Now, you all might be familiar with the home equity line of credit, the HELOC. Uh, borrowing against your home uh, is a great option compared to using credit cards or personal loan. You typically get a much lower interest rate uh, using your home as collateral. Lenders seem to loan out more money on a home equity line of credit considering the home is securing the note. Now keep in mind, each lender has a different program, so qualifications will differ depending on the lender. Certificate of Deposit, CD loan. This type of personal loan you obtain by putting up a certificate of deposit as collateral. CD loans come in fixed payment principle and interest of the life of a loan. The payment is based off the loan amount, the duration, and the interest rate. And again, the qualifications will differ depending on the lender. You know, don't second guess it. Give us an opportunity to let's take a look at it. Let's see what we can do to possibly help you with the credit repair. Now, it does take a little time, as Jim was saying, maybe 6, 12, maybe a little longer, uh, depending on what's reporting on the credit bureau. But these are just options that are available to you, okay, to purchase your store. Now, what we can do is once you start, you put the, your deposit in, you can contact myself, our finance department. We'll go a little more detail with these programs and connect you with the proper uh, people to help you move forward with your project. I wish you the best. Thank you for listening. And back to you, Jim. Thank you. Interested in seeing if you can qualify now? Simply submit your 100% refundable deposit. And one of our finance advisors will let you know within 48 hours of receiving your credit profile. If you haven't submitted a sales inquiry lead form yet, meaning that you haven't talked to a sales rep, and you also haven't received any ongoing information about one of our stores, simply do so now by going to our website and filling out the lead form. Once you talk to one of our sales representatives, let them know that you would like a copy of Financing Options. Thanks for your time today. I hope the information supplied by Mr. Grammer was helpful. And of course, we wish you the very best.